Hey you guys, Maju up here, and welcome to the seventh video in our Let's Learn Java game series. And today, we're going to be continuing working on our renderer here, and we're going to make it even better. We're going to add more functions, add more features. So we have our draw image, but I actually want this to be better. Now, what do I mean by better? Well, with our current setup, oh geez, let's, uh, let's, let's add the clear back in. Uh... <laughs> We're going to want that. Set the clear back in. Do, do, do. So, if we have our image and I put it off screen, what it's going to do is it's going to scan along the X, and when it goes off screen, it's going to try and render those pixels, but it can't. And so it won't render anything. But it, it'll try to render all the pixels that are off screen, but we know that's not going to happen. So, what we can do is we can make it better and make it not even try to render pixels that are off the screen. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a little test, all right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say int, um, let's, uh, how, what should we call that? I'm gonna think of good variable names. Um, new x, new y, we'll say equals zero, int new y equals zero, int, New width equals zero. I uh, will say this is image dot get width, and this is int new height is equal to image dot get height, and that will be. We're gonna say this when we render it. We're gonna do this. New x. Oh, gotta swap those around here a little bit, and we're gonna modify these variables so that we're gonna have some code in front of this so that we actually get what we want. New height, and this is new width. Boom. Alrighty, so what do we wanna do? Well, we wanna make a test. Let's make sure, let's do it for off the screen, right? So if our x uh, plus, um, it is called new width, is greater than, uh, also we need to take in our offset. So I'm going to say plus offset x is greater than our p width, right? Our screen, right? We're going off. Whoop. We don't need to add the uh, new x because new x is zero. So if our width plus offset x is greater than our px, well, I want to change our width to be back in the screen, right? So if new, uh, we want to subtract the amount that it goes off screen, right? So new width is equal to new width plus off x minus pw. Uh, yeah, I want to, I should do it in proper order. Okay, and let's make sure this render is fine. So here we go, and we go off screen. Up, oh, we got a little, a little far. Our new width uh, should be, yeah, it's a bit minus that. Be new width minus this. We want to do that first. And if it's that's true, yeah. So if that's true, then what I want to do is instead of sending equal to, I want to do minus equals, and that'll do the same thing with less code the new width minus equals how far off screen does it go don't try and render that so if we print this out i want to print this out i want to print out our new width so we can see what's happening here so we come in here and we go off screen oh no and our width as you can see in the console below is shrinking down so that way when we go off screen we're not trying to render an image that's off screen and I'm going to do the same thing for our height so new height plus offset y is greater than ph and just repeat the same code copy and paste we don't need to print this out anymore and this will be offset y minus ph boom now when we do it oops, it will do the same thing for both sides. And that just makes our uh, draw code a bit more optimized. Now, 
we also have to do it for our x. Now, with this little example, I can't exactly go off the screen. So I'm going to say this minus 32. Is my image 32 by 32? I think it is. 16 should be the center. I don't want to have to use the getters and size. Let's see, is it 16? Nope, it, it is 64 by 64. I forgot how big my image was. So we're going to subtract from our input. So we put our mouse in the middle, right? Now our mouse is in the middle of it. So I can go off the side here to the left. But we don't have any code here to say, hey, our X is off, skewed on over, you know? So what I'm going to do instead is go to my renderer. And I am going to say, well, let's do it above. So if our new X is less than zero, right? We're off the screen, right? I'm going to say new X plus equals, would it be minus equals new X, right? Does that work? Well, hang on. I think, I think that's working. I think that's all we have to do. Because that should basically add off, like our off screen to it. Because our new X, right? Our new X is zero. <laughs> no, 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 no. Minus equals X. Plus offset X. Oh, what am I doing? This should be X. Which is our X plus offset X. X is our new X. So new X plus offset X. Which new X is zero, so we don't care about that. And this should be minus equals offset x. Hang on. <laughs> what? Well, I'm having a brain fart here. That seems to be working. So let's see what our new x is. All right, let's print this out. I want to know what my new x is. Our new x should actually go up in size. So if we go off screen, we're at 1, and it's going up. And then when we get to our mouse at 32, yes, our x is now working as intended boom so i'm going to take this copy it i'm going to paste it and we're going to do the same thing for y so if offset y is less than zero new x equals offset y all right now actually these are kind of compact here i'm going to compact this a bit more just because these is it's getting kind of big and i don't mind having all these on the same line so i'm going to put my if statements here on the same line. Now the thing is, is if I try to format my code, it's gonna put it all on different lines, but I'm putting them on the same line here. Just cause that takes up a lot less space and there's not that much code to it in the first place. So there we go, boom. Now, if our offset X, right? If our new X is actually greater than our width, there's no reason to render at all. We can just leave because we're way, out, we're way out of bounds to the left, right? So if, we'll just do a test right here. If offset X is, right? So we need to make sure this is positive. Well, we want it to be off screen. So if offset X, right, it's negative, is less than width, or a uh, new width minus it's less than if our new width was negative just return all right that will cause it not to render at all right? and we can't really get it off screen here so what i'm going to do actually is i'm going to say new width divided by four because i can do that right now just to test it so if it goes a fourth of the way off the screen it disappears Boom. So we know the code's working. Right? So that's that works there. And same thing again. This is our don't render code. If it's off screen to the height, don't render. So like a don't render code. And this is our clipping code. Is what that's called. That's clipping our image. And uh so we got our we got our ways. Now what if it's off screen? Right? What if we go off screen too much? So if our x, our off x is just greater than, um, should be greater than or equal to pw or 
greater than or equal to p height, we return. And this should actually be equal to, right, for a new width and height. That won't mess it up. Nope. So there you go. Saved an extra layer of pixels. We can't get off the screen like this. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I see a problem. Um, where was that problem? So I was going up. We we have uh, our X and Y is mixed up here. What was going on there? Right. So our X works, but when we went Y, it's changing our X. Why is my Y changing my X? So. Uh, where is our Y? So if our offset Y is less than zero, new X, that's Y. It should be new Y. There we go. And now if I go off screen up top, works perfectly fine. So instead of saying is greater than PX, we're going to say PX minus, um, what's 16 times 3? 32, um, 40, I hate doing math in my head, 48. Don't do math on live TV, kids. You might get it wrong. And then you'll look like a uh, nincompoop. I think that's right, right? If I go, yeah, a fourth of the way off, boom, it disappears. So we know the code is working as intended. So there we go. We have optimized our image draw a bit better. And I think actually this is, uh, this took enough time to actually make this its own video. So I'm going to make this its own video. So comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.